For last day today, ako lang, and I'm gonna be discussing on how to apply Schengen visa here in UAE. Welcome back to our channel. So today, magdiskas ako kung paano kumuha ng Schengen visa dito sa UAE. Since last year, I mean not last year, last 2018, me and A we went to France. So I just want to share with you guys the process on how to get the Schengen visa. So first of all, you need to know. Where is your visa issued? If it's issued from Al Ain and Abu Dhabi, then you need to apply the Schengen visa from Abu Dhabi. If it's from Dubai or some other Emirates, then you need to apply the Schengen visa here in Dubai. So you need to apply in uh, VFS Global, which is located in Wafi Mall. They're the only visa center that uh, process Schengen visas. It's very easy and it takes only I think four days three to four days for us Because as I remember we applied Thursday Thursday morning and we received our passports like um, Sunday Yeah, I, I remember it's it was Sunday because Friday and Saturday here is weekend so there's no offices and Sunday is the day that we receive our passport. So it's very quick and easy. It's just one day as long as you have all the requirements that is needed. So what are the requirements? First, you need to fill up the application form. I'm gonna show you guys. This is a sample of the application form, but you need to fill it up on the website. And I'm gonna put the, the link of BFS Global also, guys, for you to to have an easy access to that. So yeah, first is application form. I'm gonna put the link on the description box, guys. So you know, kung saan kayo mag-fill up and mag-book ng appointment. Uh, second is your passport. It should be valid for more than six months. Residence visa, your Emirates ID, uh, cover letter. The cover letter dapat uh, explain nyo don kung Hanggang uh, anong gagawin nyo dun sa bansa, kung saan kayo pupunta, ilang araw kayo, and kung ano-ano pa, lahat ng mga activities na gagawin nyo, kailangan naka-state dun. Kasi it will be easy for them to uh, evaluate your documents, kung approved ba or hindi. And then, proof of accommodation, kailangan nyo mag-provide ng hotel booking or dapat confirm booking yun ha. And also, yung ticket, kailangan mag-show doon kung ilang araw ba kayo. Ganun. Kasi doon sila mag-base kung gano'ng katagal yung ibibigay nilang visa. So, like sa amin noon, nagsabi kami na two weeks kami sa France. So, nagbigay sila sa amin ng one month na visa and it's multiple entry as well. So, we can go outside France, we can go to some other Schengen country, I mean like Europe, Europe, Europe countries, but we just, you know, stayed in France for two weeks. Uh, of course, you also need the proof of uh, financial means. Pag sinabing proof of financial means, kailangan mo mag-show ng bank statements, salary certificate or employment certificate. If kaya mo ma-provide yun tatlo na yun or kahit dalawa lang don pero hindi dapat mawawala yung bank statements either employment certificate or salary certificate either the two pwede ka sana maibigay mo sa kanila then much better also kailangan mo rin manghingi ng NOC from your company that they're allowing you to go outside the country because kailangan dito sa pag-apply na Sure sila na babalik ka at hindi ka magiging illegal immigrant in Schengen. That's why lag lagi silang naghahanap ng NOC. You also need the picture 
Uh, this is the sample of the picture. If you go to any photo studio, they know what's the requirements for Schengen visa. So just tell them that you're applying for Schengen visa, then they know that already. You also need uh, travel insurance. That's important, guys. So pag wala ka nung mga documents o isa sa mga documents na nasabi ko, then it will be hard for you to get the visa. Kasi gusto nila kompleto yon and para ma-evaluate ma talaga nila kung able ka ba na mag-stay sa Schengen, any Schengen country. Because, you know, medyo may kamahalan. And also, ayaw nila na para lang tong ano, US visa. Kasi, di ba, if you're applying for a US visa, US tourist visa, they want you to have a strong ties in your country. So, like, here in Dubai, I showed them uh, NOC, seller certificate, bank statements. So, they know that I'm not gonna be an illegal immigrant. That I will be coming back to Dubai to continue my life. <laughs> so, after magather mo lahat ng mga requirements, you need to book your appointment in the website. I'm gonna put the link on the description box below. If you want to go to... France because sa France lang kami nagbook na nung nakaraan kaya yun lang yung maiilalagay ko sa baba pero kung sa like Belgium, Germany I'm gonna put the, the link on the description box of uh, BFS Global from there it will redirect you to the website of the country okay fees how much is the visa fees we only paid 240 each before. I'm not sure if how much is it now, but I believe it's still 240 for adults. And for children, 6 to 12 years old, it's like 140 dirhams only. After paying your fees online, you can pay it online or in VFS. Because sometimes the online payment it's not going through so pwede ka rin naman magbayad dun sa BFS after noon just wait ka na lang kung kailan yung appointment mo make sure everything is there make two copies of each requirements if possible on the day itself na magsasubmit ka na ng mga requirements medyo magtatanong yung visa officer sa iyo pero hindi naman masyado na maraming tanong like sa pag-apply ng US visa. So, may mga katanungan siya like, gano'ng kakatagal doon? Sinong kasama mo? Bakit sa France? Or bakit kayo pupunta ng France? Anong celebrate Kung may celebrate ba? Anong work nyo dito sa Dubai? Yung mga gano'n ako. So, mga madadali lang naman. Pero, hindi naman sila nagbabase. So, nagbabase sila doon sa mga documents na binigay mo. Kung makakapagbigay ka pa ng mga supporting documents, then much better. After noon, wait ka na lang ng lalabas yung inyong passport. Pwede mo siyang matrack online. Bibigyan kayo ng reference number para ma-check ma nyo siya online. Also, I believe within 3 days, 3-4 days, pwede mo nang makollect yung passport mo. And if you are rejected, you need to apply again. If you really want to go. Because I know someone who got rejected three times bago nila na-approve yung uh, visa, Schengen visa. I don't know why. Complete yung papeles na pero I think may kulang. Parang hindi sufficient yung mga binigay niyang documents. So it's better to have... Uh, more supporting documents to prove that you have a strong ties here in the country. So, that's it guys. I think I gave you all the, the information on how to apply for a Schengen visa. It is fast, quick, and easy. Hindi masyadong hassle because yung BFS ito sa Dubai, they're very helpful. And parang feeling ko, um, hindi, uh, hindi naman ganoon karami yung nare-reject kasi marami namang Pilipino especially na nakaka nakakapag-travel sa uh, Europe countries 
sobrang dami. And alam naman nila na talagang for holidays lang. Pero meron talagang mga makukulit na Pilipino na nag stay sa Europe countries. Kaya medyo nagiging strict na rin sila. So that's it guys! Hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel. I can see you. Subscribe on my channel now. Bye!